Hi, welcome back to my YouTube tutorials. This is ABM Graphics. Yes, uh, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. If you are new to this channel, kindly of subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you are already a subscriber, thank you very much for coming back. Thank you. Yes, today I just want to take you through for another uh, flyer on how to design digital marketing flyer in Photoshop. Yes, and uh, you can use it for any kind. So let's just go to our Photoshop like this. Yes. So what we need to do is to create our document and this particular document, you can post it on Instagram or Facebook and it will be well fit. Yes. So first of all, let's just come and create a new document over here. Just like this. And what we need to do is that I'll just change this one to digital, digital marketing digital market okay and over here to the pixels and the width should be 10 by 80 and the height to be 10 by 80 then I'll click OK just like this yes so the next thing I have to do is to group this one I'll introduce a group and then I'll call it background just like this and the next thing I have to do is to just Come on, pick a rectangular marking tool over here. Then I will draw something like this over there. And that one should be inside there, like that. Okay? Yes. And then the next thing I have to do is that I just want to work very easy for you people to understand. So I'll just come and introduce a shape like this. Okay? And then I'll just change the color let's say this color for now and then i'll come over to my properties over here then i'll just slide it in like that okay and then the next thing i have to do is that i'll just press ctrl t to transform it and you can check on these properties over here you'll come to this particular property that's angle then you just make the 45 angle 45 and that's all and you have something like this over there then you click ok you get that yes and then the next thing i have to do is to go and import in a picture that i'm going to use this one and then i'll just transform it so that it will, it will fit into the distance and then i'll come over here then right click and then create a clipping mask in and then i'll have it like this okay and then let me just transform it a little bit then I'll have it so okay, just like this. Okay, and the next thing I have to do on this particular shape over there, I will duplicate it by pressing Ctrl G, and then I will just come and hold Shift Alternate to just transform it out like that. Okay, and then I'll group that one, and then I'll call that one image. You get that, and then I'll just transform it a little bit down. Okay, and then for now, let me just bring it somewhere here. You get that? Yes. So the next thing I have to do is that I want to work. I want to put in a logo here, but I don't have the logo. So what we need to do is that I just want to create a sample logo so that it can fit over there for me. Then I'll, I'm just going to have something like this over there. And then I'll make it like this. Maybe five. And then I'll duplicate it. And then I'll just right click and rotate it this way. You get that. And I'll hold all and then I'll just have it like this. And over there I'll make it 45. And then that one should be like this for me. You get that. And then what I need to do is to just put on digital marketing. You get that and I'll just align it over here and then I'll just hold all and then I'll group it and I'll call that one logo you get that and I'll move it somewhere here just like that and I'll introduce a, a, a guideline so that I can have my work aligned you get that yes so the next thing I have to do is to um, I'll start from top to down so I'll come and pick another rectangular market tool over here 
then I'll just come and draw something like this over there and then over there I'll change the color to this and then I'll just move it in and I'll have something like this over there then I'll make this one go in just like this okay and I'll bring it to the bottom of the image look at that and I will change the color I'm going to change the color of this one to gradient color so I'll come to FX and I'll go to gradient overlay and now let me use this one over there you get that yes then we'll have something like this over there okay and I'll come and introduce another this thing over here like this and I'll change the color to this you get that yes like this so this all this can cause shapes okay yes and then what i need to do is to come and pick this particular text boost your business and i'll just paste that one in like that and i'll move it over here and then i'll just change the color to white and i'll change it to regular I don't want it to be too distant, so I'll just make it somewhere here, like that. And this one should not appear too bad. Okay, I'll we'll have it like this over there. And that one too, I'll just make the, the tip of the shape to be so rounded like this. Okay, and then the next thing I have to do is to come and pick the digital marketing edges over there. And I'll just come and paste that one to over there okay and then i'll come to my characters and i'll make it 12 like that right there 12 like this okay and then what i need to do is that this particular digital i'll change it to light i don't want it to be too deep and this tool i'll make that one somewhere let me see okay i'll make somewhere bold okay and the next thing I have to do this one, I'll just change the color to yes. I'll just change it to yellow and then I'll have it like that over there. Okay. Yes. And the next thing, let me see if my work. The next thing I have to do is to come and pick this particular story over there. And then that one too, I'll just paste it like this. And I'll reduce it and that will make it regular then I'll have it like this over there okay then I can save my work and then the next thing I have to do is to come and pick the learn more and the learn more will be a button over there so I'll just come and pick something like that and I'll have some button like this over there and I'll change the color to this yellow over there and then I'll just Based on my learn more over there, then I'll make it come somewhere here and I'll change the color to black. Yes, you get that. So the next thing I have to do is to just transform this one a little bit so that it can fit in what I want. Okay, and then I'll just change it to medium okay. and I'll have it like this. And all this, what I'm working is poppies okay one font at a time okay so the next thing i have to do is that this particular background this particular shape that is that is like a stroke around it i will change the color to this same color over there just like that and what i need to do is that i just want to add some kind of shadow to it I just want to drop some shadow to it, so I'll just come and click that place. Then I'll come to drop shadow over there, okay? And then I'll drop in the shadow, making here for it's okay, making here let's say 29, and then making the opacity 22 will also be okay. And then over the contour, I'll just come and change that one to somewhere. Okay, let me see this one, see this one, yeah, this one is okay, so I'll click okay, and then 
I will just let it be somewhere there like that and I can decide to reduce the rest okay. just to be somewhere like that okay. and I'll save so the next thing I have to do again is that I just want to come and pick this one over there and that one should be somewhere here should be in the bottom of the lane more and that's the button and then I'll change that one color to, to white okay and then I'll have it like that over there and I'll change make it some regular over there like that okay so yes so the next thing I have to do is that I'll just come and pick colors so colors so I'll introduce a shape over here and then I'll change the shape to this particular color let me see which color will I use okay this color is okay for me you get that yes and then the next thing I have to do is to come on to, is to open this this one over there and I'll just come and pick my magic wall tool and click and then I'll just delete the background I will just like that okay yes and i'll have it like that and i'll move it in over here then i'll just transform it to the bottom like that okay just like this you get that and i'll change the color by going fx and color overlay to what to white just like this and then i'll just paste in the contact details and I'll have it that way. Have it that way. Then I'll have something like this over there. And then let me just make some changes to this one by making it this way. Two, three, three. Like that. Okay. And uh, this one. Let me just make it somewhere today. Not oh, three. So this thing four. Okay. Four will be okay for me. I don't want it to be that this thing, okay? This will be okay for me. Yes, then I'll see. Then the next thing I have to do is I just have to come and pick this one, our service. And then our service, I'll make something like this over there. And then I'll make the color to be like this one. And I'll just paste I want to in over there and then I'll move it in over here and now just have it like that over there and I'll come and pick our service over here just copy it and then I'll paste that one to down there like that okay and I'll change the color to black okay change the color to black and then let me zoom it out so that you get what I'm going to do. So that I'll have it like this. And then over the characters, over here, I'll just increase it so that to wide up like that for me. Okay? Yes. And the next thing I have to do is to, I want to put some kind of shapes there. I'll just click and I'll make, I'll have A there. This is A. You get that. Let me just make it bigger so that we get it. This is A. Okay, let me just click capital A. Okay, so I'll just double click and when it's highlighted like this, I'll just change the font to what? To emojis. So when I change the font to emojis, I only need to double click and then I find that particular shape I want to use. Maybe an arrow form or any kind of this thing that I wish to use. Okay so okay let me use this one for this one then we can have it like that over there you get it just like this okay and you can see it's too big so you can always change the font size to fit in how you want it to be okay let's make it five okay just like that you get that and this one go over this one then I'll just hold to, du to duplicate it for the rest of 
the point okay so this one just show as a bullet to this one you get that okay then i just want to hold all like that and then i'll just make it straight okay just like that okay then i'll just do what i'll just group it in and i'll just cut add color to it you get that i'll right click and clip it in and then any color i add to it it will appear for me you get that yes and this is how i change it to this particular distance over there and then we are just getting to the end of the tutorial and the next thing you have to do is that if there is social media handles you can easily add the social media handles to it so that to make the design look more interacting okay so just add something like that okay just somewhere like here okay yes so let me come and work over this one again i just want to check on my distance and i'll reduce the distance to not be so distant over there okay yes then when you check that is all what we need to do and that is all for today designed okay yes and when you have something like this you can also just make it two different flyers by doing what by changing the things over there so this one i just want to change it to this and that one too will look beautiful for me yes let me just swap it this way okay and then i'll just change this one to to this color over there and change this one to to that color over there so that i will have a multi-color used in this in this small design okay yes and i can also have it like this so when you check on that we have two you have just getting a two design like that this one and then this one yes thank you very much for watching this is ABM graphics kindly subscribe like and share my video to your friends so that they can also enjoy the best from me thank you very much for watching this is abm graphics have a nice day bye bye